what is it your propensity? And devotees should be saying, I'll do anything for Krishna. Instead, we have devotees crying out, the ordinary devotee, I want to do my propensity. And managers saying, no, you do any, anything for Krishna that's needed. So we kind of reverse these things of how it should be. So it's a matter of developing our own propensity, our own style. And, and that, that takes us back to humor. And that wasn't very funny what I just said. So you can erase this part. I have to, I'd like to say something that can probably be erased also. But uh, when I was a kid, uh, there was a joke. Which... <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so I, 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 you'll probably erase this, but Piari and I both, our father's favorite joke was the same. And we just discovered this. So I'll tell you the joke, but you'll probably have to erase it. But it has a good humor to it. It has some nice humor. It's a place it fits in. So there was this teenage boy who had a wooden eye. And, and he was very sensitive about it. In those days, when you're, you lost an eyeball, they replaced it with a wooden eyeball. But no one could tell. You couldn't tell looking at it. It was really perfect. But he was still sensitive. So he's at a dance. And he's afraid to ask anybody to dance. And he sees this real girl in the corner who no one will ask to dance. So he says, oh, maybe she'll dance with me. So he walks up to her and he says to her, would you dance with me? And she goes, would I, would I? And he goes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so uh, that's another kind of humor where we do a play on words. 